Hello guys, my name is Anna and I'm from Ukraine and I'm proud to be Ukrainian. Since the start of this awful Russian invasion of my country, I have decided to vlog daily and on my channel you can check these videos and if you're new, please subscribe because the world needs to know more about Ukraine and I try to inform you with the most important things. Those of you who are my friends, you know that I have a bad habit to begin my morning with updates on Facebook and elsewhere. Uh, typically, you don't get much uh, good information in Ukraine, but today's made me feel more or less satisfied. And that was about explosions in Sevastopol. Before I continue and explain you why this is so important in this war, I would like to stress that Ukrainians are a peaceful nation. And before this war, I did not like reading things about explosions or uh, bombings or other things because war was always a dramatic and a very unpleasant topic to me and I avoided even military patterns in my clothes, you know. But Russians invaded us violently and they want to erase our culture, they destroy our cities, they kill our people. So it is logical that after more than a year of such brutalities, I feel satisfied when Ukrainian armed forces demonstrate their success, especially on temporarily occupied by Russia territories. Sevastopol is an important city in Crimea. During Soviet regime, it was a closed city. It was not easy to get there because this is the central location of the Russian Black Sea Navy. I have been to Sevastopol when I was at school at the beginning of 2000s to participate in the English language Olympiad. And it was like the whole Ukraine Olympiad, we were invited to Sevastopol and it was the beginning or the end of March, very windy and I cannot tell that I liked it a lot. There were lots and lots and lots of Russian military on the streets who of course ignored various Ukrainian addresses and reacted quite negatively. It is a huge mistake that Ukraine agreed to host Russian Federation Black sea, uh, navy, military fleet on the territory of Crimea, but it is a well-planned special military operation by Russians, I have to admit that. Uh, Crimea was annexed back in 2014 and our weak reaction uh, actually inspired Putin's further uh, uh, military actions and attack on independent Ukraine. But during these years he was trying to heavily Russify the peninsula, hundreds and thousands of people came to live in Crimea from other regions of Russia and many military were located there because during this full-scale invasion starting February 2022, Crimea is used as a base for various military actions to the mainland Ukraine, if it's possible to say so. And uh, it is extremely important to neutralize their uh, military points that can be used against Ukraine. Yesterday we had a very tragic day, 25 civilians died in the as a result of the attack on Uman and Dnipro, many children among them, and Russians pretty well understood what objects they were targeting. So today's response, if it's possible to consider or so is definitely not the equal one. And I'm happy that no one died in the result of the explosions on the oil base in Sevastopol. I don't want civilians to die because every person has his world, has his soul, has his uh, ideas, and it is always a tragedy when a person dies. Uh, the problem is that Russian society likes it and fuels Putin's military machine here in Ukraine. Ukrainians are different, and but I believe it is an extremely important task for us to destroy their uh, storages of weapons, their military bases, their uh, airfields. For example, from Crimea, lots and lots of planes fly to target uh, front zones of Ukraine. Uh, many ships in the uh, sea uh, keep missiles that later will be targeted on Ukrainian cities and can result in dozens of Ukrainian deaths. That's why it is important to target and neutralize them. So far, our allies supplying us with weapons are very careful to uh, prevent us from targeting uh, Russian objects even on Ukrainian territories. 
For example, the fastest that high Mars can reach is like 80 kilometers, and of course, this is not enough. So many of these important military victories on the territory of occupied uh, Ukraine or some Russian territories are the results of Ukrainian homemade drones that can carry explosives uh, not really far away, but this is our truly our achievement. Uh, Russian uh, military uh, said the explosion in Sevastopol was a result of a drone carrying explosives, probably Ukrainian. Ukrainian armed forces did not command that, so I cannot guarantee you 100% what actually uh, happened. But uh, once again, I would like to stress that I believe we do not receive enough weapons and the weapons that we receive, uh, we cannot use to target Russian military objects and these military objects are used to target us are used to kill ukrainians as it was yesterday with 25 civilians uh, dead but uh, what is important um, this actions like explosions in crimea and other uh, belgorod and other russian cities they remind russian society what war is and that they are not invincible and uh, that uh, it is very bad uh, when you can feel the smell, when you can hear the explosion, when you can actually taste what war is. Once again, I can guarantee you, I see that in our soldiers, I see that in our people, I feel it in myself. We are not monsters. We will not kill Russians. Like, uh, we do not intend that. Uh, we understand that uh, people are poor in Russia. They are traumatized. They are not able to live uh, to normal human standards. And I don't have intention for them all to die. But we have to protect our country because uh, they use their military objects to destroy our hospitals, schools, roads, to kill our children. And uh, this cannot be permitted, this cannot be ignored, this must be punished and this must be stopped. Uh, that's why actions like the explosions in Sevastopol are important to remind Russians that war continue, to demonstrate them that uh, they can uh, be vulnerable too, to ruin actually this infrastructure that is daily used against us, and maybe also to spoil <laughs> the resort season in Crimea because many uh, Russian military who stay there use Crimea also as a point for their relaxation. And of course, they will invite lots of people to spend money in Crimea financing a Russian budget. And of course, we don't want that. Also, uh, those of you who are new to the channel, you can check my video why Crimea is Ukraine and it is extremely important for us to return the peninsula and this war can only be finished after all territories return back to Ukraine. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you for buying me coffees and becoming my patrons. Thank you for thinking and caring about Ukraine in these dark times and peace and normality can return back to this world only after we win. Also, you can check our beautiful raccoon t-shirts and patriotic merch. The link to our shop is below this video. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe because the world needs to know more about Ukraine and there are many beautiful things that I want to share with you. Slava Ukraini!